Okay, we have a, a number line here with some tick marks. Here's our number line, and we have tick marks at x, 0, y, and z. And these tick marks are, draw a line out a little bit there, these tick marks are evenly spaced. So you don't have to worry about them trying to trick you. Now, what we do have to worry about are these answer choices, starting with a, x times y times z is less than 0. Is this the case? Well, you can stare at this line and worry about things, or you can plug in numbers. Or you can actually look at the properties of odds and even numbers, but definitely don't just sit there staring at the number line. So do something, and so let's plug in numbers. Let's just assume x is negative 1, therefore y has to be 1, and z has to be 2 because they're evenly spaced. And I want to make that a nice z so we don't get confused with 2. So there we go. Now, if I put these points in or plug these points in below, I'm going to get a negative number. Why? Well, because I have two positives. And then I'm multiplying it times a negative. And two positives times a negative will always be a negative. So there is one of the answers. What about b? Well, we have x plus c equals y. And what do we notice above? Well, we can use our little plugging in here. Negative 1 plus 2, well, that equals 1. We could try other numbers, negative 2, 2, and 4. And we're going to get the same result that b is b is valid, that x plus c equals y. But what's the logic here? Well, the logic is this point here is bringing z down 1. If you bring z down 1, you're always going to get to y. So this holds true as well. And then finally, we have z, which is 2. We'll use these numbers right here. z is 2. And then y minus x gives us 1 minus negative 1. And just looking here, you can see that whenever we subtract y minus x or positive minus a negative, that minus minus here will always become plus. And so we'll have a positive here in parentheses multiplied by a positive there. And that will always give us a positive number. And they're asking, or they're saying, does this hold true, that it, that it is greater? And yes, it does. Because this side's positive, it must always be greater than 0. So that answer is right as well. And there we go.